Well, a little hike. It's either going to be worth it or time wasted. There's only one way to find out. We want to fish the other side of the lake, so we're going to take this little path across. We'll catch you guys once we get over here and see if we can catch some big ones today. This is our path across. You take these stepping stones right here. Well, then once you get here, there's a log. And in order to go from this stepping stone over to that, looks like we would have to get wet. Yeah, it doesn't look like much from here, but if I walked across these stepping stones and showed you guys, it's like a, we'd have a 10 foot clearing gap right there and over here that we'd have to make it over and um, I can jump, but not that far. And there's no other way across other than this to get to that trail and go up. That sucks. We're gonna have to change plans a little bit. We really wanted to fish the other side of this lake. We got a lot of rain the past few days. So it's just completely washed this little path out. It's really cold today. So we don't wanna risk getting wet. That would completely ruin the whole trip because we would literally freeze. I'm not sure if there's another way around the other side of the lake. Might have to go for a hike today. So that over there is where we're trying to get to. And we'd like to fish that whole bank. After talking with Maddie, we decided to search for another way to reach the other side of the lake. We're going on a little hike into the unknown, but we're thinking that there's a bridge down here that's going to help us cross this little creek. It's either going to be worth it or time wasted. There's only one way to find out. So here we go. And again, this could be a giant waste of time and energy. That's beautiful. And onward we go. We're just gonna have to walk through raw terrain because we don't wanna follow the trail. We're gonna end up on top of that mountain. There's a chicken bone. Somebody that's having a picnic and ain't ready to start the hike yet, but the family's like, we're going. So they just ate their chicken on the road. All right, we gotta go that way though. Okay. We decided to take a quick detour and go off trail to explore a that spot we always wanted to fish. Let me know as soon as you see a way over to the right. It's definitely time to start turning right. <laughs> Our first obstacle was crossing this creek. Is the tree stable? Yeah. I think you can do it. Since I don't have the best balance, I decided to crawl across this log to reach the other side. Okay. Yeah, just crawl. Did it! Hey, I swear to get over here, and it's like we're not at the lake. Yeah, we're like the main street. Yeah. I think this is it. I think it's it. We just gotta get through this. We're in the right spot. What? We're here. I don't know how the ground's gonna be up here. Oh, we're really on the edge. I haven't came this far. Wow. We made it to the, hopefully to the promised land. We hope. We've made it to the corner. We've always wanted to fish. It looks super shallow. Um, I don't see any traces of life. Like I was so certain this was gonna be the promised land. And it still could be, we don't know. We did all that hiking, so went through the woods. We gotta at least fish it and find out. Just tiptoe over here. I'm gonna try to walk this bank a little bit more. We'll honestly be able to say we fished this entire lake before. Finally, the untouched spots are being touched. I just feel like this is such a good spawning grounds, which I know they're not in spawn yet. I don't see any fish in here. All this water is stagnant. What do you think? Should we walk more? I'm gonna keep walking. Maddie says she don't see a single fish. A lot of these fish are still in like their winter mode. Some of them are starting to come up out of it. It's just super early. Quest for a giant fish has led us into some things with this, uh, this takes the cake. We're gonna continue our hike. Um, I think in about a month, this spot right here could really be something, but right now it's not. It's a little too early for them to be pushing up. Some of them are starting to come shallow. 
At least we'll be on a trail after we cross all these rivers again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's so much fun. <laughs> We are so out of breath. We just hiked up. You probably can't tell. The camera never does anything justice, but we hiked up a literal mountain. I can't breathe. <laughs> but the view right here is so gorgeous right now. We're really hoping where we're headed to, it's gonna be worth our time. And there's actually gonna be fish to catch, but it's always a possibility. It is a little soon in the year, especially for our area, but we're gonna give it our best and uh, whew, take a few sips of water, get a quick breather. And we're gonna hit the trail and try to make our way over here to see what's up. Catch you guys over there. Oh, I'm finally hydrated again. So we're gonna hit the trails and catch you guys hopefully at the lake. Hopefully we make it there <laughs> in one piece. We'll find out. So let's hit the trail. <laughs> Found this little trail right here. It's pretty steep though. Let's see where it puts us out at. That's gorgeous. All right, let's keep walking. We have made it. Whoa! <laughs> the wobbly bridge. I'll stand on one side for you. Good thing you went first, cause you know, I would've probably fell, fallen into this little spring. Okay, this is the spot we've been trying to get to. Oh, it looks like you could walk right here too. We made it. Here we are. Come on, first cast. There was no other way to reach this spot. The way we usually come, which is like a much shorter hike, is um, flooded. We got a lot of rain the other day. Oh, I had a follower and a bite. I, I saw him. He's little. He followed it in all the way to the bank and then nipped it. I see him coming for it again. I saw his body shine under the water. I'm gonna go over here and make a few casts. Can I leave the bag here with you? Yeah, I'm gonna be here for a second. All right, I want you to be. We both need to work together as a team right now and fill this area out. I think that corner over there is gonna be good. Me too. Hopefully this is worth our efforts and we get a big one. I'm just gonna work this very slow, like it's winter time. This is where I want it to be this whole time. This corner. Boom. That is the cast I've been waiting to make. The wind is blowing right over there. I just think this is too perfect. Just such a good spot for them to be right there. right here baby all day long hey girl hey girl thanks girl yes this is what we come for guys this is a three pounder right here right in the roof of the mouth let's get her washed off yes this is why you grind it out right here oh, thank you girl thank you all right we're gonna get her cleaned off she's barely hooked to i get cleaned off a little bit Get you a drink, girl. Big. Almost a four. Thank you, girl. You made that whole trip worth it. I am so speechless. We went through so much. It is usually a grind that we go through to get fish like that, but so worth it. Whew. Let's get some more lines out. Hopefully we can make that happen again. One even bigger, maybe. So we're gonna get our lines back out and see what we can do. We went through that brutal hike and it was so worth it. I cannot feel my fingertips or my nose though. It is so cold. I literally, my hands are hurting. They're 
about to go numb on me. Are you cold? My hands are frozen. All right, we can go over there where the sun's shining. We're gonna see if we can find a quicker way back so we don't have to walk back over a mountain. We got the game warden over here. While we walk back, I'm not gonna film just so I can save my battery. I'm sure I'm gonna have to show him my license. So catch you guys over here. We made it to the other side, but uh, we had to get some help from some nice uh, fellow hikers. They uh, built like a little stepping stone to help us get across. They were kind enough to uh, take our gear and help us get that across too. We didn't have to walk two miles back. We just had to bear crawl across some um, logs and hop across skipping stones. It was an adventure, but we're alive and we're here where the sun is shining and it's a lot warmer over here. So. Let's get to casting and see if we can make anything else happen before we have to call it a day. We walked all the way around there. Then there's a creek right there that you can't cross. So we walked through those woods to the bridge to cross the creek, up the mountain, all the way. We came down right there, walked all the way around. There's a dam right here. And all the way to here, here we are. <laughs> What an eventful day. My legs are throbbing. Good people. Very good people. That was a whole experience we shared. <laughs> you do meet some cool people outside, you know? You also meet some weirdos, but those were cool people. And I think I'm gonna go to the bank over here because it's sunny over there. I'm gonna warm up. I think I'm with you on that over there. Yeah, I think that corner, maybe be some pressed up in there. Oh, the sun feels so good. I cannot tell y'all, it is like 10 degrees warmer over here than it is over there. It's so cold. Oh, he's gonna pull him another one. We watched this what? warden bus four oh. people for speeding oh, in less than two hours. It's a lot of people speeding today. When you said that, Maddie, I thought you had a fish. I know. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Good fishing today? Um, she caught one today. Oh, nice. Yeah, it was um, about three and a half pounds. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Y'all yeah. Yeah, be safe. All right, now that the sun is finally out on this side, I'm gonna probably gonna take my jacket off and go ahead and switch over to my spinning rod so I can flip up under that tree. Wow, I might be done for the day. I went to full on cast and it smacked the bank. I saw, I see a fish, a bait fish. hammered that nice. swim bait. Thank you, buddy. Nice. Caught it while I was reeling it in, too. We are out here day number two. It has been a few months since the last time we were at this lake. And as you can see, a lot of things have uh, changed. It's grown up a lot. We were last here, it was at the end of the winter. Now we're near the end of spring. We're seeing wakes and stuff, got the poles rigged and ready. So we're just gonna get up here and see if we can make some magic happen. Oh, big fish in the creek. Oh, I see. I hope it don't see me. Here it comes from my bait. Are you watching it eat? I don't see her eating it, but she did go up to my bait. Guess she ain't interested. I'm gonna take the weight off of this. I took the weight off of this because I feel like it's really getting me caught up in the grass. And uh, instead of sitting down there and looking natural for these fish to come along and eat. Let's throw back in this creek. Make sure nothing's at the mouth of it before I walk up here. I don't want to spook anything. Just letting it look as natural as possible. Cause these fish, this water's pretty clear and these fish, they've been pretty picky, but I think we ought to get some. Yeah, we don't want to punch through the grass cause they're at the top column. Oh, got a bite. Just one pluck. They're all right there. The 
are all, it's a bunch of them. Let's cross the creek. We're gonna cross the creek because we've seen some action up against this bank over here. That's the same spot the last time we were here. We went all the way around. Of course, remember, this was the end of winter. So crossing the creek wasn't really an option. We couldn't get wet. But today, it is burning up hot. I swear it feels like freaking 100 degrees. So crossing the creek is an option. We're gonna go over here, try out this little bank right here. Let's see if we can make anything happen. Here we go, make sure there's no snakes. Go up here and find an easier way across. What do you think, crossing right here or no? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, it's a little deep hole right here. It's a lot colder than I thought it would be. But compared to that heat, it's worth it. Ooh. That felt good. Y'all, yeah, was like borderline heat trap, I swear. Now right, we gotta watch for snakes. Look at the deer tracks. We're standing back. Cause it's a lot of fish right here. This is a bluegill bed. There's a bass right there in front of you. Where? Right there. I don't see. You hit his head. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see, I see. He swam off. Oh, bluegill. Bite my bait. <laughs> Just got my first bite and it was a bluegill. Whoa. Maddie. Holy sh Big fish. That's going to be close to five, but not quite. Let me get the scale for you, girl. What do we got? We'll pick up something. What a beautiful fish. But she's bleeding a little bit where she got hooked in the tongue. So we're going to go ahead and get her right back in. When they're bleeding like that, it's important to get them back in quickly. There she goes. This is why we call it a grind. Sweat dripping. Sweat on my face. 100 degrees, had to cross a creek, had to go through terrain that's probably full of snakes. And that's why we did it. Awesome job, Maddie. I'm gonna try a different bait after this cast because this bait just ain't it. I was. Here we go, guys. Not as big as Maddie's, but it's a fish. We'll take it. Aww. We just caught your mama. The way you got it, buddy, I, I need you. There we go. See, just open your little mouth so we can get things out of you. Look at that cutie, guys. Not the giant we're grinding for, but a fun catch, no doubt. So get this little doll baby back in because you see what this little one's gonna be turning into. Hey, it's shallow this way. Go that way. Very wet. <laughs> That was fun. There's bluegill right there swimming around that were bigger than the fish I just caught. top of the mouth. Good job, Maddie. Now I guess it's my camera's turn to overheat because uh, right when Maddie was releasing that fish, I had it ready to go and then all of a sudden, boom, cut off. So we didn't get the release of her, but she took off great. No splashes or anything cool like that, but she took off nice and healthy and that's all that matters. Oh, <clears throat> dang girl, it didn't take you long, did it? They can't get enough of it. Another one about the same size as the last two. Nothing like the first, but hey, we will take it. Yeah, I think we both caught our giants from this lake this year. So now it's just all about catching fish and having fun. Ooh, just took off. Whoa, <laughs> that is a blast. All right. Let's see if we can get five. Get it. They're all coming from the same place, right? I'm gonna mm -hmm. this way. I wanna get near that grass. 
These bluegills are really working hard on their bed, guys, so I'm not walking any further that way. That would be super rude. I wish these guys would just move their beds just a little bit. I'm not gonna disrespect them, though. You can walk around them. I'm scared to. I will, I'll go first. What kind of ground is this? Ew, that's why I wasn't gonna do it. Yeah, I'm good. I think I'd rather go this way than that way. Do not, because it dips right there. You don't know where holes are. Go into a portal, into another world. You just see me sink. It could happen. You never have the footage of your fish. I'm ready when you are. I want to be able to run some other baits too. Hold on. I popped at my line. Did you see that? All right, Maddie wants to move. I really like the spot, but I get her point. Really limited right here because of all the grass and stuff. Oh! Pulled it out of his mouth. Scared me. He took off with it. Pulled it right out of his mouth. They did not get hooked. That was a crazy bite. It scared me. I, I was about to reel in, like talking to you. I was not wait ready for it. Oh, pulled it out of his mouth again. No, he's still on. <laughs> Y'all, what a sequence of events. What is that little thing? Okay. It's that little bass. No. Lauren, I'm sorry, buddy. I would have got you in sooner, but uh, my line got wrapped. I catch the peewees. But I'm okay with that. I just want to catch fish. A little cutie. Let's get him right back in. Thanks for playing, buddy. Go grow and get real big, and we'll catch you next spring. So, guys, I had way too much slack in my line when I set that hook, and um, it caused my line to come back and wrap around the eyelet. That would have been a big fish. That would have been a problem. Thankfully, it was just a little baby. I had another bite. Here we go. Big. It's a lot bigger than those dinks I've been catching. Did you say all? Yeah. He's big. I mean, he's like a one pounder, probably. What's going on with him? Is he hooked weird? Oh, he's got grass. Maybe bigger than a one pounder. Come here, buddy. Can you help? Maybe, I'll get him to you. Pulls long and awkward. I finally caught a fish today that's not 0 .0001. Say so he's a good, healthy one pounder, maybe a little over. And we're gonna get this baby right back in. Oh, oh, he's ready. Let's let's just let him go. No need to go crazy, friend. Now that one felt a lot bigger than what he was, I will say that, but um, anything feels big when you've been catching one third of a pound. All right, guys, I'm coming back, but I'm not going to mess with your beds. I promise you don't have to attack me like piranhas and eat my ankles off. This is a good day. We haven't had a day like this in a while. Oh, oh, oh. A dinky. Told you I wasn't going to get that. Said, yeah. Yeah. It's like the fish are loaded right here right now. Oh, Maddie. Yes. He threw my worm. I've seen it. Running toward me a little bit. He threw my worm. That's your biggest of the day. Yeah, this ain't a bad one. Not at all. Yeah, oh. and a half. It might even be a two. Yes. They're loaded right there right now. He's barely hooked. Sweet. Got him in and don't have to take a lot of energy to get the hook out. Y'all look at this hook set. Ugh. Talk about barely hooked by the skin of his chin. Beautiful fish. This is my biggest of the day. And um, I'm, I'm very happy with her. I'm gonna give it a high one, maybe two. I, I don't think she would go two. Do you? I do. You think she'd go two? Let's find out. 113. That would almost be a two. She is almost a two, but I don't think she is. Drop her. 1.94. Very nice fish, but we're gonna get it right back in. Thanks for playing, baby. Not quite a giant, but definitely a quality fish. She's ready. Sweet. I am ready to get out of here. I don't know what's going on. 
but my legs are so itchy. It's probably the grass I walked through. All right, so we have caught numerous fish from this one area over here. We could stay here all day and catch them, but there's a few other baits that I'd like to try today before sunset. We came here near the beginning of spring. The temperature was still pretty cold outside. All of this was completely dead. There was no greenery. The whole reason we went around that long trail, we wanted to get to that side and we couldn't just walk across the creek because it was cold. We had a feeling this side was just gonna be loaded with fish. Fast forward, a new season, we're at the end of spring and we were exactly right. That spot was loaded. We just needed to wait a few months and come back and try again. And that's what we did caught a lot of fish and Maddie caught a giant four and a half pound fish. The sun is dwindling down. What little bit of time we have left. There's some other areas Maddie wants to fish but across this creek again, get on the other side. So let's go do that. All right, here we go back to the itchy grass. Now our job is to simply look for snakes as we walk back and to not get bit. Giant snapping turtle. Imagine that thing biting your finger. Ooh, it bite it off. That's Godzilla. All right, anyways. Let's go forward. Probably gonna stop at this dock up here and um, see if anything wants to play. We are gonna switch to, we're gonna go with the purple violet June bug. Right out here in the middle, there's another flat. And that's what I'm targeting. I'm trying to get my bait out that way, but doesn't want to go that far without a sinker. There we go. I might. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's a bite. He's little. Wait. Ah, oh, he came off. He didn't get out. Let's try again. Had another bite. Come on, baby. Bite it again. I know they're probably stacked back there too because it's real shallow. Here comes Ray. All right, guys, that is going to do it for us today. Look, just kidding. That's not going to do it, but this will. This is going to be it right here. This little fish. That's probably the one that's been plucking at me. Hi, buddy. Oh, he's getting wrapped up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't get wrapped up. Okay. So we're just gonna unhook him and get him right back in. Alright, quit it. Quit it. This might be the last fish of the day right here. Thanks, little buddy. Here he goes. Good job. One more cast. That's what I was getting at. When does a, a fisherman say? Alright. It's time to go without making one last cast. So this is officially it. Oh, sh I didn't know I had a fish. I felt nothing. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Now you just lift it up and have a fish on. We're good. Look right there. Oh, oh, God. I lost the worm. Oh, not the worm. That's okay. We've got plenty. Looks like the same one you just caught. You gonna end us off, buddy? Talk about grinding for fish. We definitely grind it at this lake. First day we were here, we had to take a hike. I'm not kidding, it was a few miles up a mountain. It was terrible in the freezing cold. Second time here, we had to cross a whole creek. That is officially gonna wrap it up for this video. I didn't catch any giants today, but I caught a lot of fish. Maddie, on the other hand, she caught a giant. Anyways, that is gonna wrap it up. Thanks for watching. And as always, we will catch you on the next one. Peace.